Hello everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. So I'm Amanda Keller and this here is our little Maine Coon Saber. Saber is tired right now and if you listen really closely you can hear her purr. So Saber is a big time purrer for, I don't know if that's regular in Maine Coons or not, but she purrs a lot. Um, and our other two cats do purr a little bit, but she really purrs a lot and very loudly. It's kind of nice. Um, so Saber has been here now for about two weeks. Um, her and uh, Mercedes the Beagle are going into the vet this week to get another set of shots. I think it's Mercedes final set. Um, I'm not sure if she'll have, if, uh, Saber here will have another set to go or not. So things that we have found out about little Saber here is one, um, she likes to play act, as I say. So um, she will get to wrestling around with Mercedes and she will act like Mercedes is oh so killing her. And then she'll go hide under the couch and wait for Mercedes to give up. And then she'll come back out and she'll do the, um, I call it the, the cat attack stance um, where they kind of turn sideways and kind of walk on their tippy toes and start walking towards Mercedes back and forth and get Mercedes to chase her again and then go off and hide again where Mercedes can't get to her. Um, of course, this caused concern the couple times it's happened. Um, the kids thought that Mercedes was trying to kill her when technically they're just playing. Um, and, you know, cats and dogs do play different. Um, so dogs, when they play together, will play with their mouths. They will bite and things like that. But they know how to basically back off on the biting so they don't hurt whoever they're playing with um, and things like that. Cats um, like to use their paws for one thing. A lot of times they don't bring their claws out. They will use their mouths on occasion. Um, but usually with cats, it's kind of like a roll around wrestling match. And then whichever one wants to... Um, is, is the less dominant, I guess you would say. A lot of times we'll roll over on their back to let the other cat know that, hey, I'm just playing or whatever. Um, and they, they both give different signals of when they're playing too. So fortunately, we've gotten that straightened out. Um, we do keep an eye on them though when they are playing just because Mercedes is a puppy and she is a kitten and they can't accidentally hurt each other. So we try to make sure it doesn't get too rough or anything like that. But they do seem to be getting along. Now Sabra will still hiss at Mercedes if she comes right at her face. Um, I'm guessing it's just a cat thing. Um, the other two cats do the same thing. They don't like, you know, the dog coming right towards their face. Um, so, but it's doing really good. The other thing I have found out about her, and I don't know if it's regular in all Maine Coons, but she cheeps. And what I mean is she makes like a noise all the time. Um, she even does it to Mercedes. She does it to us. Um, so I'm not sure um, if that's just something particular to um, Maine Coons. My other two cats don't do it. Um, the only other time I've ever seen my other two cats make any kind of a different sound was um, like when they see a bird or something outside, they'll kind of do the ch -ch 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 sound with their teeth. They're kind of clicking their teeth together real fast. Um, and, you know, as far as I know, nobody actually knows why they're doing that. Um, they think it's like a part of a getting prepared to hunt thing. Um, I haven't seen her do that yet, um, but she does make this sound. It's very cute. I wish I could get it on a recording and I will try and see if I can get it too. But other than that, Saber is doing really well. Um, we did find out since the last video um, that she did have an intestinal um, infection or an intestinal bug. Um, I wish I could remember the name of it now, but anyways, it was giving her diarrhea um, and things like that. And so she's been on medication for the last week. Tomorrow she will take her last dose of it um, and then we will have to have her poop retested but I think she's fine everything seems to be back to normal um, what she did have is contagious though to the other cat so we've had to watch that um, uh, luckily it's not contagious to the dog the dog would be the one I'd be more concerned about because she does of course try to eat the cat poop out of the litter box so but um, so far that I can tell it's not contagious uh, there is a form that of the same thing that the dog can get, but it's not contagious from cat to dog because they get two different kinds. So that's good. So she's almost done with that. But other than that, she is very healthy. She's very playful. Um, she's cute as a button. And of course, you know, right now she's being so adorable by just laying here sleeping. 
Um, she's gotten quite a bit bigger, I think, since the last time. Um, when I took her to the vet after we first got her, she only weighed about two pounds. Um, I would say she's probably doubled that by now. And then, of course, we still, you're getting a good shot of her, all her mini toes here. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and there's a sixth one. So she has six toes on her, both of her back feet. And then see if we can get a, and then these are her front paws. Look at those. Isn't that cool? So she has the regular cat paws, the one, two, three. Ah, oh, let's start that again. One two, three, and four up here on her cat, on her paw, on her regular paw. And then she's got this cute, like, little thumb. Yes, you're just a purring away. That's right here. See this little thumb here? Um, that's almost like two toes kind of connected on one little thing. It's really, it's, it's just cute. Um, she <laughs> likes to uh, throw her feet up by her head a lot. I'm not sure why she does it. It's like her pouncing theme. But, um, yeah, so she's just a pocket of joy. Don't eat the puppy food. No, no, no. Come on. Come back here. So she's very lovable. Um, she does have the thing, of course, where she scratches you by accident. She likes to try to climb your legs sometimes when she wants attention. And if you don't have pants on, oh, it's very sore. As you can tell, I have some scratches on me. Um, she's gotten me a couple times. Not meaning to and nothing aggressive. Just, you know, being a kitty, liking to climb. Um, she loves people. She loves to hang around with them. Um, she is not like our other two cats. When anybody comes over, they will hide. Um, she does not. She comes right out into the action and likes everybody to love on her. Um, even my granddaughter, um, came over yesterday and she was loving on her. Um, so yeah, so it's been quite well. I mean, now you're going to bite. Now you're going to bite. Um, so we've loved having her around and she is just so adorable. I just can't get over this face. She is just so adorable. Um, so we've been trying to also get her used to one being brushed because she is going to have to be brushed daily. Um, so far we've used it as kind of like a reward system where we have her, her wet food ready and then brush her while she's eating it. She doesn't seem to mind. Um, and we've also been trying to play with her paws more because, you know, you are going to have to clip her toenails and things like that. So, um, you know, one of the things that you want to do is with any kitten, not just with a Maine Coon, is, you know, after you get them in your home and get them settled, I would say after they've been there like for a week or two, then you want to start the normal things. Um, you want to start massaging her paws to get her used to being touched. And right now she's playful, so she doesn't want to be. But you want to get her used to having her paws touched so that she's easier to clip her toenails. Um, you also want to make sure that you're brushing them on a daily basis, but do it in a rewarding type of way um, so that they, you know, know it's a good thing, um, especially if you have a long or medium haired cat. Um, you know, they can get tangled very easily, which can be really bad for their skin and bad for them. And it can also hurt because it can pull and stuff when they're walking around. So we've been working on those things. Um, the other thing that we've worked on in the last week is um, also uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter that's living here anyways, likes to train cats to sit and all of that. So she's been working on her with that. Me, I don't do that so much with the cats. I'm okay with them just being cats. Um, but she does like to train them. And so she's learned to kind of sit and to already spin, I think. Uh, but since she's kind of tired and lazy right now, we won't do those tricks. And plus, I think uh, Leah's a little bit better at it than I am. So um, maybe I'll try to get it on video later this week and put it up so you guys can see her doing her little sits and spins. So um, so this is uh, it for now. This is little Saber. Now she's going to clean her paws up because I touched them. <laughs> so all right. So we've had a kind of a weird weekend with getting a new iguana and then it passing away overnight. But that's okay. We've still got Saber and Mercedes to uh, keep us on good spirits so and she's just adorable isn't she yes oh yes oh yes i got the belly oh yeah <laughs> all right everybody hope you all have a good day and i'll keep you updated when i can with how saber's doing all right thanks bye